everybody's favorite holographic wizard here, Wizard Foo. This is another video in the Low Dragger 5 vs. 5 multiplayer game development series. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about nailing the art style. This is um, a bold thing for me to choose a three dimensional art style for Low Dragger because Songbringer was 2D. And to go, um, to stay there in that beautiful, blissful land of two dimensions would be awesome. I would love to create and draw all these characters in two dimensions and it'd be so easy. But you know what? You wouldn't have all the cool three-dimensional shadows that I'm trying to get. So, <sighs> I'm struggling right now. This is a really tough part of this game. Nailing the art style. So, I, the whole goal is to create voxels that correspond perfectly to pixels. I want to call this voxel perfect art. I've never seen a game do it yet. And I'm starting to see why. It's really tough. Because if you want to do just a single voxel for every pixel, that's 400,000 vertices. But in a typical game, you're rendering many things, many things to a single pixel, and a depth buffer determines where which one is on top. And if you do that, you render all them voxels. We're talking like four million vertices. So many vertices that my old laptop from 2013 is slowing down. So it's not practical. It's definitely not practical. There's many ways to get around this. You can create an, your own occlusion buffer, your own depth buffer, try and buffer everything up, and all of a sudden it's turning into a software renderer. You're take, not taking advantage of any of the hardware rendering. So, I'm trying to take a little bit of a step back here this week and figure out, first of all, if this is even possible. So let me show you what figured out. All right, I've determined something. You'll see. So, here we have a voxel drawn really big. Lots of pixels for this. Not just one, but many. So if we start putting on these different layers here, you'll all layer on like a 50% of this is a this is rendering. We can actually take that down and let's see put see that at a hundred percent. That is the exact same voxel rendered with only three by three pixels. Okay. So obviously it's not looking very much like the original, right? Start doing four maybe. And it's getting closer. There's five pixels, there's six pixels, seven pixels, eight, nine. But dang, as soon as you get above, as soon as you get above one, you've already got so many vertices. Okay, so let's close this. Here's another one. I started playing with the voxels again. And I found that at the 20 degree angle, we kind of have a good occlusion going on. You can see that it's rotated it enough that those pink voxels are occluded by the sort of brownish orange voxels. So that's, that's a start, right? We've got an angle where occlusion or depth buffering could really be taken advantage of, even with an isometric perspective where if all these voxels were just a single pixel, one of them would include another. Okay, so there's that's kind of a start, right? Here we've got Rock. Here I tried to draw him using my own art skills and single pixels. And we have this. <laughs> Doesn't look very good. Okay, let's get to the next one. Here we go. It's, it's, it gets really tough trying to draw an isometric perspective with pixel art. 
because a single pixel can't really rep be represented very well isometrically, as we saw from the first one. So here we go, here's this last one. I'm like, wait a minute, why don't we just try the orthographic perspective? And this is where everything really starts to click. Although it does change the view perspective to something that's different, where it has to have its own beautiful strengths uh, applied through shaders and other techniques of making the scene look good, because the isometric perspective has its own just automatic beauty. So anyways, if I were to go with this orthographic perspective, there's definitely going to be, need to be some smart moves made to make sure this all looks beautiful. So what we have here is the orthographic perspective of rock. And this is the orthographic perspective rendered from Magic of Voxel, where it's got its nice 3D shadows and all that. Here we have the same thing, but every single one of those voxels is now two pixels. Okay, really, it hasn't changed that much, but that's pretty good, right? It's actually looking not bad, but it's still looking blocky. Even this magical voxel one kind of looks blocky, right? Because it's not pixel art yet. But if we go down to pure pixel art, here is here is me going and drawing with a paintbrush every single pixel by hand to see if it's possible that somehow I can create a renderer that renders this voxel perfect look and it looks good. And to my eye, this actually does look good. In fact, I think it looks better than the double pixel one right there. I mean, the Magic of Voxel version looks neat because it's got the shadows. This kind of has its shadows built into the pixels. So I think this looks pretty decent. I could, I could settle for this. I could settle for a game look like that. Here is the same thing with, um, instead of me rendering it all by hand, this is just um, Photoshop taking the image scaling it down using nearest neighbor and then scaling it back up using nearest neighbor. So this is basically just scaled by Photoshop instead of me drawing it by hand. Also looks pretty good. Something I could live with right there. And then here is something that the game, I actually got the game to render the other day. So um, it's got dynamic shadows, that's why his eye color is, is darkened, because his eye color is being darkened by his hat. So that would need to be fixed, right? Things that are sort of glowing, like his eyes or the edges of the sword, those should never be darkened by shadows. You can also see he's kind of scrunching up his shoulders because he's in his second frame of his animation. I just happened to catch it right there. But this doesn't look perfect yet, but it's starting to become something. So. Basically, what this is determined is that it is possible to create this voxel perfect look as long as I use an orthographic perspective. So, how the heck am I going to do that? Well, I'm looking at two different pathways right now. One of them would be using what's called a pixel buffer object, where you can basically just send, it's almost like software rendering. But going and trying to render all those dang triangles for hundreds of thousands of voxels is also a lot like software rendering. So this pixel buffer is almost more efficient because instead of having to set all these vertices for the triangles, you only have to set one single pixel and then just send it off with the, the pixel buffer object. So it's still hardware accelerated in a way. Um, and then the other solution is to keep on with the goddamn triangles <laughs> and try and try and render only 400,000 triangles on the screen at once. And in fact, that does work. I can get the game to run at 60 frames a second with only 400,000 vertices. But as soon as I get more than that, above 1 million, it starts slowing down. So I could get that to work too. And that would be kind of neat because then then the camera could zoom in and do some cool effects. Uh, so anyways, um, that's going to be it for this video. I um, hope you learned something. I, could, I hope you can see that uh, <laughs> this is quite a struggle for me right here. This is tough. I mean, I, look how dirty this code is. Look at, look at this. This thing has so many ifs, if zeros, 
another pound of fines that this this is the voxel code it's all over the place i've been literally just throwing code at the screen hoping it sticks um and then look at this this is where i'm at right now this is using the pixel buffer object so yeah it kind of looks neat right we've got a character on the screen he's like I would want it zoomed in a little bit more. The ground looks horrible. There's no shading. There's a lot of there's a lot looking wrong about this. The the erasing doesn't work either. But 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 at least the voxels are sort of corresponding to exact pixels. In fact, one way I can tell that is his eyes are all yellow. Sometimes uh, before I would get him so his his hat would cover up his eyes sometimes. But at least you can always see his eyes now. So one little inch at a time, making progress with nailing the art style for Loadragger. Thanks for watching this video.